evening. What's up guys? How's it going? So chilling up on the bridge. Heading to Toronto actually. Figured, figured this would be a random place to start a video. So I'm headed to Toronto, get jump on a plane, and we're headed to Saskatoon. Saskatchewan! So figured, yeah, park right here, do a random video. Nice evening for it though. So yeah, this trip wasn't really planned. We booked it two days ago. Actually, maybe we booked it yesterday. I can't remember. So I'm going to see Tim and Marcus. Um, Marcus was actually in an accident last night. It's very sad. It's remarkable. It really is. I appreciate your help though. I really do. I'm just too, uh, I can't drive it. No, no, that's okay. You, you take your time. You take your time. I feel bad to leave you. He was hit by a drunk driver. Luckily, he's okay, but his RS is completely written off, gone. So we're uh, we're gonna interview him later today or later tomorrow. We'll see him at some point. See how he's feeling and uh, maybe see the aftermath of the car. Um, yeah. So don't drink and drive. It's a bad thing. It's really bad. So the driver was charged. That hit him. Uh, he was driving like a Dodge Ram 1500. I think he ran a stop sign or something. So. We'll hear the full story when we get there, but glad Marcus is all right. I'm glad I'm getting out of here. Let's go do something crazy. It's a beautiful morning out here in Saskatoon. This is Tim's backyard. He's got a little mini putt set up. Got some fishies. Feed these guys. Come here, bud. There you go. Get your bread in you. Big day. I love it. I don't think they can eat a full slice. Oh, gotta chop it up. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, yeah, sorry, 75, Tim's alive. Hot, wet, and wild, eh? That's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Got some new toys, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, a couple. Some trouble, uh, some trouble to serve. This yeah. kills me every time. You always have the most randomest stuff. I think last time I was here, you had like protein bars back there. And it's not just like 10 bags. It's like the whole box. <laughs> just need to get some peanut butter and honey. Yeah. Sausages. I don't want to know Hot what dogs. you're going to do with the bear, but... Stay tuned because you're gonna find out. Anyways, that's we got Tim, Marcus. That's how Tim goes to the drive-ins. He brings enough food that he can live there. <laughs> how are you doing, Marcus? I'm good. Still alive? Yeah, I'm just making sure everybody subscribes to Tim. So yeah, I'm putting I'll, stickers uh, on. I'll have the link below for for a while. The next bunch of videos. That you were in a bit stars. of a bit of an accident the other day. Yeah, she happens. Especially when you here. when you party naked. So we're oh. gonna go check out the uh, aftermath of that. Freaking deer, eh? It's nice. Kills me every time. It's funny, last time I was here, I walked by this truck 20 times and I didn't notice anything until Tim pointed yeah. it out. But uh, yeah, so we got lots planned. We got the Tannerite. We're going for Beaver Dam number two. No shrapnel this time. Unless you want shrapnel. Yeah, I like Do you want shrapnel, Tim? Not again. We could throw all these. We could throw we'll these in. Check out our rock from last time over there. Our, Forty-nine point seven pounds. You measured it. I did. That's the rock. Yeah, you actually kept it. So this is the rock that flew over our heads last time. Let's put my hand on it for comparison. She is heavy. So, anyways, we got more tannerite. We got the sherp somewhere in Saskatchewan. We'll go pick that up. 
Uh, obviously, you guys have been training th the bears. It's getting ready to put the sea dew on the Sherp. You're gonna put this, you got a rack on, on that thing? That'd be neat. You need a little crane on that thing. We will have one. We will have, put it on the two list weeks. of ideas. Two the two week idea list. There. Oh, that's sweet. All right, well, let's carry on here, see what other trouble we can find. And Your three-pointers are going down here, Phil. I'm a basketball player. <laughs> Don't quit your day job for basketball, Tim. All right, Sorry, let's get out of here. All right, we're locked, ready, ready to go. We're moving out. Tim, do you have any special plans you forgot to tell me? I have no words. I no just words. have no words. You're tired, eh? You guys haven't subscribed, Tim Simmer. Put all the links below. And we got enough bread to make a sandwich. You got meat back there too? Oh, there's meat back here. Perfect. All right, where to first? Gonna go grab the Sherp and then the bus, get it ready. And uh, then we're off to Cabello's to grab some Tannerite to uh, do some research and rescue the beavers. R&D. Swing by, pick up the shirt. Look at this thing. I think that's a Photoshop six pack. <laughs> so I've marked this guy on there. Anyways, we locked, ready to rock and roll. Find some trouble. All the breads. So this is the RS. Well, what's left of it? <laughs> Looks like the cars we have down on the track there, Marcus. It does. <laughs> uh, we may not have jumped this one, but it did get wrecked. So, uh, you want to tell us the story? Okay, so I'm going down Taylor Street. Uh, anybody that's familiar with Saskatoon is going to know that Taylor Street has a dead end, and I turned right when I should have turned left. So I hit the dead end, turned around, and I'm accelerating coming back towards town. And a drunk driver on Harold Street going, that would be north, I think, pulls in in front of me and collided middle of the intersection. Jeez. And this is the damage you'd see. Now, and this was two days ago. Two days ago, and, and I'm walking. Alive. Now, my passengers are unfortunately not in as good shape as I am, but At prayers least going alive. out for them. Exactly. Um, you can tell, though, if you go to the scene, and I have video of it that I'm going to show you later, and we'll put it in the video. Yeah, but we'll throw it in the video. We, I was on the brakes so hard that I scraped the subframe and tore pavement right out of the road from hitting the brakes and hitting the car. And I ripped the axle. Ripped the, the axle right out of the truck. I can't show you that because of privacy laws, but that's the damages. Jeez, that engine's gone, eh? Oh yeah. You I can't... had some kids ask me if they could buy the motor, but unfortunately you can see the push rods for the valves, so. Oh, really? <laughs> right through the cylinder. Jeez. Just tie right Inter back. cooler, radiator. Oh. Now, here's another thing too. So the truck was traveling this way, I was traveling this way, and you can tell he was going super fast because this entire side of the car is pushed up and over. Yeah, it's this kind way. of ripped. And this fender is pulled like a foot over this way. So like you corkscrewed the front of my car. Jeez. Got your face ripped off. A little bit. How's the inside look? How's an airbag feel? Bad. I've never had one to the face. Well, I had one to the shoulder. Try having one to the knees too. Oh yeah, I forgot. These have knee ones. Look at the seat Jeez. on that side. Hey, this whole seat is bent. Oh yeah. Jeez. Well, I'm glad I got to go for ripping it before. I'm really <laughs> sad that I didn't. <laughs> you just, didn't know that was there? No. I've been sticker. there since the day I bought it. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can need that back. Hey, check this out. There's SD cards here. These are Tim's. <laughs> oh, yeah. You should probably keep those. Yeah, probably should. Here's another thing. This is So I was bringing a girl home from the bar, right? And here's proof that she was in the car minutes Jeez. before it happened. I literally was one intersection from her house. <laughs> so lucky. Jeez. Well, there's a few parts you could probably sell off this thing. I already sold most of the car and I haven't even bought it back yet. Jeez. So I better buy it back. Yeah, hopefully you can buy it back. I'm pretty sure I can. Well, that's too bad. Such a such a nice, beautiful car. This is why you don't drink and drive, kids. Stuff, Dumb stuff happens. Everything's impaired. Judgment's impaired. And it's either so. Usually not good things happen. Usually you don't walk away from these things, that's for sure. But Marcus is lucky to be alive and lucky to be walking two days later. Jeez, that is wild. That's not even as bad as when we jumped them on my house. Crazy.
Is this door open? Yeah. Kinda. This shit all open. Wow. Need some condoms? Nope, I'm good. I actually found some in one of the vehicles that jumped the other day. It's <laughs> awesome. Classic. Oh, FCK Light Bars just sent me a sponsorship, so I better keep this so I can keep your hat going. Stole your shift now, I see. Yeah. GPS is still good. No. It's nice. Whew. Quite the vehicle, that's for sure. One more quick walk around and we'll wrap this up. Look at that, it just crunched. Yeah, you can kind of tell that everything's pushed this way. Oh well, used to be a beautiful car. It still is. Yeah. It's still a beautiful car. Just, just the back end. Yeah. Just the butt. When you're in a car with three people and you get a second away from dying beside those two people, that really brings people close together. <laughs> and remember, next time you're driving with some friends, just watch out a little bit more. And wear, if you're going to be driving, a seat don't be drinking beers. I always wear a seatbelt. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we got some exciting stuff coming up. We picked up some more tannerite, so hopefully we can find another beaver dam. We're going to do some sherp stuff and some stuff with some bears too. So. It's going to be an interesting wild week. Uh, we have today and tomorrow for sunshine. And I was supposed to rain the rest of the week, but I brought a rain suit, so maybe we'll go play in the rain. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure to check out the other videos. Uh, feel free to share this one if you want to show the effects of when you get hit by a drunk driver. So anyways, have a fantastic night. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.